Hi everyone, in today's episode I will talk about ChatGPT. But before we talk about ChatGPT, let's talk about what GPT means. Uh, we'll dive into the organization that is behind it, OpenAI, and we'll also take a look at some of the use cases where people around the world have started to use GPT in numerous ways. So we'll get to that as well in this episode. Let's get started. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer. It's a large-scale language model developed by OpenAI. It uses unsupervised learning to learn the structure and the text and can generate human-like text. GPT-3 is the third generation of GPT and it is one of the most advanced language models currently in the market. It was trained on a dataset that is over 570 gigabytes of text data, which includes a diverse range of content from all over the web, uh, content from books, content from websites, uh, even articles and blog posts. GPT-3 was first introduced in June of 2020 and quickly gained attention for its ability to generate human-like text and its potential applications in the natural world of languages uh, in processing tasks such as language translation, question answering, uh, text summarization, and much, much more. GPT-3 is being used by a wide range of organizations and individuals just like you, uh, including researchers, uh, developers, or even uh, business people. Now, businesses use uh, GPT-3 to automate tasks such as customer service, uh, content generation, and language translation. Researchers, on the other hand, are using GPT-3 to study capabilities and limitations of the large-scale language models, whereas developers are using GPT-3 to build new applications and improve existing ones. Overall, GPT-3 is a powerful tool that can be used to automate a wide range of natural language processing tasks. It's able to generate human-like text. It has the potential to significantly improve the efficiency and accuracy of the daily uh, tasks that we conduct, especially where content is needed. Here are 10 things that ChatGPT can assist with on a daily basis. Number one, language translation. ChatGPT can assist with translating written text from one language to another, which can be useful for individuals or organizations that need to communicate with people who speak different languages. For example, a business owner who uh, frequently communicates with international clients could benefit from using ChatGPT for translation. Number two, text generation. ChatGPT can assist with generating written text based on a given prompt or theme. This could be useful for writers or content creators who need to generate ideas and produce content quickly. For example, a freelance content writer could use ChatGPT to generate ideas for his or her blog posts and articles. Number three, text summarization. ChatGPT can assist with summarizing long pieces of text into shorter ones, uh, more concise versions. This could be useful for people who need to quickly understand the main points of a document, an article, or even a book, such as students or professionals. They all can make use of ChatGPT. Number four, data analysis. ChatGPT can assist with analyzing and interpreting data, which could be useful for researchers or data scientists. For example, a researcher is researching about ideas about social media, for example, or social media trends, could use ChatGPT to help analyze and interpret data from their research. Number five, customer service. ChatGPT can assist with answering customer questions and providing support through chat or messaging platforms. 
this could be useful for businesses looking to uh, simply provide efficient and personalized customer service. Number six, personal assistance. ChatGPT can assist with tasks such as scheduling, uh, making travel arrangements, and managing email. This could be useful for individuals who need help with organization and time management. Number seven, education. ChatGPT can assist with tutoring or answering questions related to a particular subject or field of study. This could be useful for students who need additional help with their studies or are preparing for exams. Number eight, content moderation. ChatGPT can assist with moderating online content to ensure that it adheres to certain standards and guidelines. This could be useful for organizations that need to monitor the user-generated content on their platforms. Number nine, sentiment analysis. ChatGPT can assist with analyzing the sentiment or emotion expressed in written text. This could be useful for businesses looking to uh, understand how their customers feel about their products or services. Number 10. Text classification. ChatGPT can assist with categorizing text uh, that is written into different categories or groups. This could be useful for organizations that need to classify and organize their text and their data. In the beginning of February 2023, OpenAI introduced ChatGPT Plus, a pilot subscription plan from ChatGPT. The subscription will allow ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions and challenge incorrect assumptions. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This was an introductory video about ChatGPT. In the next episode, I will dive deep into different use cases where different um, personas are using ChatGPT to facilitate their day-to-day -day work, their day-to-day -day activities, and make their life more efficient and productive. Until a new episode, from me, Danny, bye-bye.